Hey family, it's Dr. Naima Johnston Bush from The Refreshing Life with Naima. And our goal, of course, is to help you to live a life of exuberant joy, powerful prayer, and sincere gratitude. And I am here today with an Etsy haul. It's a very little haul because we are moving. And so for the last six weeks, I have been doing any sourcing for my Etsy store. As many of you may know, I have a vintage Etsy store uh, called Miss Seals, Good Gifts. And the profits and proceeds from our store goes to help us to continue to build the ministry. And it also goes to help us to support some various uh, missionary work that we are planning to do in the future. And so I will put the link in the description box if you want to check out our store. If you love vintage items, um, that is the place to go. So I just wanted to pop on and show you what I have picked up. I need to be a lot more diligent in showing you what I sell. Um, I'm averaging about two sales a week now, which I know some people are like, that is nothing. But I'm not a full-time seller. I probably spend less than three hours a week working on um, Etsy stuff. And um, I only have, at this moment, I have about 120 items in my shop and I really haven't gotten beyond that because um, one, I have a storage issue. Two, I've got some other things that I really am working on um, and I just don't have the room or the time. So we'll see, we are in the process of moving so a lot of things in the shop are on sale right now and it will actually be closed for, it'll be closed for a, um, a week pretty soon. So let me show you what I have and I'm gonna show you real quickly because I just got that sign that said, your battery is going low, 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 low. Okay, so we were in Louisiana and that is where, I feel like I'm missing some stuff. I only got a couple of things here, but we were in Louisiana and I went into this itty bitty thrift store and I found the most beautiful plates. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I hope that you can get you know, the true beauty of them. They are, I guess, they're salad plates. Um, there was only two, uh, unfortunately, so only got the two. And they are um, glass, lead cut on the back. You know, they're raised and beveled. And they have this beautiful purple flower in them and these green leaves. I mean, and they are gorgeous. And I got two plates for four dollars and uh, they're vintage probably from the 50s um, and they run I saw plates similar to this selling for 50 60 dollars so I'm probably gonna put these up for 39.99 I've got two and they are just the most beautiful beautiful pieces and I got a chance to talk to the cute little lady in the little store in Louisiana um, what else did I find in that store? Oh, I got these and um, I should have took the price tag off of them. <laughs> I got these hand carved, well not hand carved, but she said they were handmade. Um, I don't know if they were or not, but she said, the lady in the store said that they were handmade and um, they're wall plaques, little just like country boy wall plaques. I'm trying to get the sticker off because I don't want to show you with the sticker on even though I'm going to tell you what I paid for them um, I got them oh wow you can see the reflection of the camera in there that's kind of odd but um, they were $1.99 and maybe if I hold it like that yeah that's better and just two little country boys look I got this paper on my finger two little country boys and this one says reckon it's time for supper so I thought that one was adorable and like I said there was two and they were a dollar ninety nine each and the second one is also two little farm boys and it says uh, reckon farmings for us so and they're doing some farm work let me get the little sticker off I should have did that before I got on right but 
I was just trying to get on and get this done so I could show it to you all before my camera died. So there you go. It still has a little bit on there. Let me hold it down like this so you don't get that funny glare. But I just thought they were adorable. They would be perfect like in a little boy's room, a little nursery room, um, country cottage, chic, you know, farmhouse, that kind of a, a decor. So they're just the cutest little things and they're probably from the 70s. And like I said, she said that she thought that they were handmade. I don't know. Maybe she thought that because of the way it looked in the back, but um, those will be going up in the shop. And then I paid a visit. Let me see, do I have anything else over there? I don't. I paid a visit to my favorite little thrift store here in Jacksonville and I got three items. I got this gorgeous little Japanese ashtray. And ashtrays do really well for me. Um, the funny thing is it has that peacock design and I have a little vase that has a peacock design in it too, but it's brown. Um, I pay, it says I paid $2.99, but I know I didn't pay $2.99 for this. I think it was like 50% um, off. And so it's just, a, a, it's a beautiful dark blue. I know it looks black in this light with a, a gold edge and it's stamped in the back, made in Japan. And uh, so that'll be going up in the shop as well. And then, you know, I didn't realize how much this Pyrex was worth. They had so much of this stuff. They had a, a whole set. Um, but I just got the pitcher because I had never seen the milk pitcher. Oh my goodness, the light is so bad. I had never seen the milk pitcher with that design on it. Little syrup pitcher, milk pit, creamer pitcher. Um, and I saw these and they were going for anywhere between $7 and $14. So I'll probably put that up at $9.99. I paid 99 cents for it. Um, but they had at the store, they had plates and they had cups. Um, but I saw a lot of plates and cups online, a lot of bowls, but I didn't see any pictures. So somebody has a set and they want to complete the set. Here it is. So I'm going to put that up. And then the last thing I got, this is going to be a short video because like I said, it's a teeny weeny haul. And um, yeah, the funny story in this haul is I told my husband I wasn't going to buy anything and I went to the store and got some stuff anyway. But then I told him because, you know, I don't believe in doing that like lie thing. <laughs> like, let me sneak this in. So I showed him what I got and he's just like, yeah, whatever. I thought you said you wasn't getting nothing because we were moving. And I was like, yeah, me too. But then it was a good deal. So then I found this. This is a charm stone. And figurines do really well for me. And it's vintage from the 80s. And it was sculpted by some naturalist guy. What's his name? Edwin somebody. Earl. His name was Earl. Earl had to die. Y'all ain't know I know about them Dixie chicks. Goodbye, Earl. Those black eyed peas, they tasted all right to me, Earl. Okay. Ain't it dark? Dun, 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 dun. Wrapped up in that tarp. Okay, anyway. So his name was Earl Sherman, I believe. And this is from the 80s. And he's dirty as all get out. Look how dirty he is, but he's so cute. I don't know if he's, I think he's, what is that, a Pomeranian? I don't know. The only dog I know on site is Chihuahua, Dalmatian, Doberman, German Shepherd, and of course, Dash Hound. Yeah, and Dash Hound and Chihuahua because they rule our house. So hopefully I'll be able to get in bed soon because they're in the bed and that's always, suspect me trying to get in the bed when they're already in there <sighs> anyway so isn't he cute but these were going between I saw them from like $9.99 to um, $20 and I do really well with figurines I sell a lot of figurines I come across them a lot I sell a lot of them that's like my thing maybe I should rename my shop the figurine shop I don't know no but um i'll probably sell him for 9.99 12.99 something like that but he's the cutest little thing and he oh and then the ashtrays they were going for like up to 30 dollars some of these 
uh, Japanese ashtrays. I mean, some of them were real. They had some really cheap ones, but this one, it looks like no one ever used it. They probably just like kept change or something in it as a souvenir. So, so that is my little Etsy haul. Um, we are moving. We're moving to Leesville, Louisiana. Very small, small town. And I'm excited to take you guys on some picking adventures. So I think I'm going to do some when I go out to some of the yard sales this summer. Of course, I won't be in Florida. I'll be in Louisiana. Take you guys along. Show you what I'm finding. I'll have to find all new thrift shops where it won't be very far from Houston or New Orleans. So finding some, some thrift shops in both of those cities. I'm excited. And I know there are a lot of, um, there's a pretty big thrifting community in Houston I hope to connect with. And so... That's it. That's my update. I'm going to really try to um, do better in terms of updating you on my sales. Just kind of maybe documenting when I have a sale, what I sold, what I paid for it, how much it was, and then just piecing the whole thing together and until I can figure out how to, you know, do it from the, show you my solds from the computer. I know there's a way to do it. If anybody knows of a good video to watch to teach me how to do it, feel free to leave me a comment. Any who who who. I hope everybody is doing well. Once again, it's Dr. Naima Johnston Bush from the Refreshing Life with Naima. I do videos about what it means to live a refreshing life with the Lord as uh, your head. And so I talk about primarily living a life of Jesus joy, learning how to pray with power, sincere gratitude, finding your God-given dreams and pursuing them, and music and laughter, lots and lots of music and laughter. And if that sounds good to you, if you'd like to hang out with me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and come and join us over on Facebook in our refreshing life group at The Refreshing with Naima and follow me on Instagram at ministryofnaima.com. Love you guys much. We'll holla back at you soon because there ain't no holla back, girl. There ain't no holla back. <laughs> I need to go watch Star Trek. Deuces.